Blacklist time was um, a fact uh, that I w was uh, a suspect, got around early enough. For strange reason, uh, I survived that for a while. What finally brought it to a climax was when Santa came to me and said, you're never going to work again here. Now I'm going to make an admission. I don't think I've ever told this to anybody. This was at a very critical moment when Zanuck pushed this book in my hand and said, you're leaving, you're getting out of here, you're going to London, you're going to make this, because it's going to be probably the last picture you're ever going to make. And get the script out fast, start with the most expensive scenes so that they, they got their studio on the hook. I began without having read the book and only read it much, much later because there was no time we to get that script going and I was under this pressure. And I think it was Bruce Goldstein, who finally found the book and sent it to me. There was a whole other story. Whole oh, other story. And when I was in London uh, not long ago, talking about this film, they said, did you know how angry uh, the author, of the man's name is Gerald Kirsch, was with the film? And I said, well, I'm sure he's right. <laughs> I never read it. <laughs>